So I got some more information regarding these northern lights that we've been seeing from the Space Weather Prediction Center because there was a few things that I had some questions on to answer that. So the questions that I was wondering is, okay, we had this big CME, this uh, coronal mass ejection, the solar flare that happened earlier today. Two of the three blasts of charged particles have arrived at Earth. So that's what we're seeing right now. That's what's creating them right now. However, this is the third one. This one will arrive sometime tomorrow. The estimated time to arrival is around noon, but it could be earlier than that or it could be later. Now, noon is not a great time because that's noon. That's when it's perfectly bright out. That's when the sun's right overhead. We want the sun at the opposite side. So it may be uh, a lower chance to see them tomorrow night, but it could be a very similar show. What we had tonight is what we could see again tomorrow. We're not going to see anything like this. This is what happens up north. They're seeing this right now up north. My friends and family in Minnesota are sending me pictures that look just like that. But this is the view that we could see again for tomorrow night. So for our area, it's a possibility if that light show can hold on. The event for tonight was not expected to be this great. So this is much higher than they expected, than the forecasters expected. And tomorrow I'm going to keep it uh, cautiously uh, high and possible for our area, likely up north and overhead farther north. The time for it would be 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Our skies look to be clear. I would be in position after sunset tomorrow. Sunset is at 5 o'clock, so be in position around 6 o'clock for the northern lights to appear maybe around 7 once the sky gets dark enough. We got to get that darkness. Get away from city lights. 